Hello everyone, welcome back to another Hypixel Skyblock video. In this video, I'm going to be showing you how to one-shot Zealots with an Aspect at the End and Ender Armor. So I hope you enjoy. So first, I'm going to be talking about the sword itself. Now obviously, today we're using the Aspect at the End, but any better swords that you have, you should use over the Aspect at the End, unless you really want to use this Teleport ability to get to Zealots quicker. In that case, then yes, the Aspect at the End is pretty good. Now... For enchants on this aspect of the end, I recommend Critical, Ender Slayer, First Strike, Giant Killer, and Sharpness. Looting and Telekinesis is also really good, but it does not add to damage. So, you know, more enchants the better, but you can kind of pick and choose what you want. Now for reforges on swords, I recommend Sharp or Legendary. You know, I prefer Sharp, but Legendary is pretty good too, and other people do prefer that over Sharp. So you can kind of pick and choose. I do have a guide to reforging that I will link in the pinned comment and in the description. So you can check that out if you want. Now you will also notice that I do have 10 hot potato books on this aspect of the end. And this makes a huge difference. So if you do everything else in this video and still can't one shot zealots, then I would recommend adding these hot potato books. But I would try to avoid them if at all possible because they are a little bit expensive. So I forgot to mention that this is more of an early game and on a budget guide. I'm not going to tell you to spend a ton of money, like 100 million coins on an item. And also, like I'm not going to be talking about reforged stones that much, because that's more of an end game or mid game item. So keep that in mind when watching this video. So next I'm going to be talking about the Ender Armor itself. Now for reforges, I recommend Fierce, but you could also go with Pure. Now I did put one of my pieces on pure just so you can see the stats of both here is more well-rounded and also gives more crit chance but fierce does more damage in general it has more stats in crit damage and strength and also gives some crit chance as well which is why i like fierce now for enchants you don't really need any enchants for damage just growth 5 and prot 5 is good enough for just survivability and also ender armor is really good because it does give you two times the amount of stats from this armor in the end which makes it better than some dragon armor now let's go to the end so you can see my stats these are my stats without holding my sword in the overworld and when i go to the end these are my stats right here and that's without holding my sword as well so if i hold if i held my sword it would be even better but as you can see my stats are quite a lot better in the end so keep that in mind when trying to one shot zealots with ender armor so another thing you can do that's oftentimes overlooked is buy an Enderman pet. Now Enderman pets from the auction house are only a few thousand coins. Now you can grind for them, all you have to do is kill Enderman. But really I recommend the auction house, it's just a lot less time. Now this thing gives you a lot of crit damage, especially for the price. And it also buffs your damage by 45 for 5 seconds every time you teleport. And you take less damage from end monsters, which is, you know, a bonus, it's not that good, but... It makes the Enderman pet even better. So I definitely recommend the Enderman pet. This is more early game. There are many better pets than the Enderman pet. But just for the price and for this video, I do recommend this. But if you do have another pet that gives you damage, you can use that. It's no big deal, really. So the next thing I'm going to be talking about is accessories. Now, the more accessories, the better. You don't need quite this many. But if you have this many, then great. Now, for reforges, I have all of my legendaries and epics on strong, then my rares and also uncommons on forceful or hurtful. And then for um, commons, I have most of them on unpleasant just for crit chance. And also, if you don't need any more crit chance, then you can put them on forceful or hurtful as well. So, something else that's very important are your skills. Now, you don't need quite as high of skills that I have. I have Combat 31 and Forging 26. Those are your main skills that you're going to want for damage because Forging gives Strength and Combat gives Crit Chance and Crit Damage. Actually, it's not Crit Damage anymore. It's more just extra damage to mobs. But you don't need your skills as high as I have them. But if you still can't you know, one-shot by the end of this video, maybe you should you know, try to grind out your skills for combat, I recommend killing Endermen. You know, the weakest Endermen have 4,000 health. So you should be able to deal with those to grind combat. And foraging, there's only one way to level up foraging, which is just, you know, breaking trees. So that's really easy. 
it can be tedious, but you know, leveling up your skills is very important. So last but not least is potions. Now the two main potions that you're going to want is critical and strength potions. Now strength potions, I'm going to make some right now. You can see I have awkward potions right here. If I put enchanted blaze powder, that will make strength three potions. And for critical, awkward potions plus flint, that'll make strength one, or critical one rather. So once you have both of these things brewed up, you're going to want to put enchanted glowstone and enchanted redstone on there. Now enchanted glowstone increases the level of the potion by two, and enchanted redstone increases the duration of the potion by a significant amount. You definitely want to use both enchanted glowstone and enchanted redstone just because of how cheap it is and how much it affects your potions. Now you can get higher level potions than this, but in my opinion they're not really worth it unless you're really rich. Like you need enchanted blaze rods for high level strength potions and you need enchanted glowstone blocks and enchanted redstone blocks. It's just not worth it in my opinion. So a potion that I forgot about were spirit potions. Now these give a lot of speed and crit damage. Now both you're really going to want for grinding zealots. However you can only buy these with I'm pretty sure green candies during a Halloween festival which only happens every few days. So definitely during the next Halloween festival pick some of these up. They're definitely worth it just because of their stats. So after putting all of the things I talked about together in this video at the end let's do a final damage test. Now let's activate my potions. To get all of them at once you have to throw them up in the air on your face or else if you only drink a potion you can only have one effect on at a time. Now let's do a damage test. It is kind of difficult to actually get Enderman with Ender Armor because of how slow you are which is why I recommend Young Dragon Armor. Anyways, I hope you enjoyed this video. Remember to like and subscribe, and I will be answering any questions that you have in the comments for at least a few months after this video's release. And if you did not notice, I did increase the health of Zealots by, you know, a pretty good amount, though it is even more difficult than before to one-shot Zealots. So yeah, if you have any questions, leave them down in the comments section below, and I hope to see you in the next Minecraft video. Bye, everyone. Oh wow, I actually just got a summoning eye. I was only doing a damage test.